What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down Patrick Mahomes and his throwing mechanics. And guys, if you're a quarterback and you want to improve your football IQ, you want to get better at reading coverages, please check out the link in the description. I give you the information on how I break down 16 NFL defenses a month. Let's get started. So I think Mahomes has one of the best motions because, I mean, a lot of people say that his arm strength comes from just the fact that he played baseball, right? But I think it's so much more than that. I think he's able to generate a lot of power. And naturally, yes, he's a big guy, strong, powerful guy. But I think when we break down his mechanics, you're really going to see what ties into his arm strength and just him being an accurate passer. So let's watch this throw in a little bit faster speed. Now we're going to talk about his deep ball mechanics here. As we all know, he's got a great deep ball throw. So deep ball mechanics is really two things, being able to produce ground force, being able to get this rotational force up in the air so I could get air on this ball, right? That's the whole entire goal of it. But our ground force stays the exact same. If this was a short throw, like if this was a 15-yard throw, his legs would look the exact same. He's pushing off that inside arch of his foot and he keeps a slight bend in that front leg and when he strikes the ground, his toes hit the ground first. But when I say toes in the ground, I don't mean be on your tippy toes. Your foot is still firmly in the ground, just your toes are down, which gives you a slight bend, which keeps the force that you produce. So now you can see when he's able to get this front foot down, he's getting to this L angle, right? Now, this L angle, this is like a perfect L. I'm not too picky about the L angle when I coach my guys. It's it, it just as long as we're not below this point and as long as we're not straight in 90. Because as you can see, when his hip brings him through, that's what gets him to this 90-degree angle right here, right? He doesn't lift straight to that 90 because if we just lift straight to that 90 and my hip tries to come through, you see Mahomes, the ball dips kind of behind him here. Imagine what that's going to be like if we just lift right to 90, right? We're not going to be able to get – it's going to be like a slingshot. We're going to be like shot-putting the ball. We want to get to some kind kind of angle at this L or maybe just above that L, like at a 45, but not straight to 90. That's what we want to avoid, okay? We want to go opposite equal. And also, when he's driving off this legs, that's when his shoulders go back. Shoulders go back as your hips come forward because that's how you generate torque. Now, how do we keep this torque? He keeps this left arm somewhere in front of his face or his left hand like he's eating a sandwich because if he swings that left elbow down, he opens up his frame and then he loses all of his hip drive, right? His hips are rotating this way and we're not generating force straight at the target. Now, we're going to talk about his follow through. You see how his follow through is nice and high on the ball, right? That's how we're throwing this deep ball. We want to flick my wrist like I'm shooting free throws. If we could keep ground force, get my shoulders arced, and flick my wrist up in the air like I'm shooting a free throw, we're going to get on, we're going to get air on the ball. And we're going to have a better deep ball. It's just about not hyper extending this front leg and not letting my shoulders stay flat to where I end up pushing this ball up in the air. Okay, so let's watch this thing full speed one more time. A lot of ground force, good arm angle, taking it back, good stroke, pushing off the inside arch, driving. Driving those hips through. Let's watch it again. Him in here, drive, get to that L, drive that back hip through, and rotate all the way through. It's a great job by Patrick Mahomes. Okay, so now the next throw we're going to be work, looking at is just some a normal throw, maybe 15 yards downfield, misses a little high, shoots a little high. We're going to talk about why he's high on this throw, but we're also going to talk about just his mechanics in general. So he's taking this three-step drop like a half three and a hitch. Now, I want you to see here, when he hitches up, he doesn't hitch. I shouldn't even say hitch up. When he, when he hitches, he doesn't hitch up. He hitches out. He's hitching at the target because that's how we generate force right it's not just all arm with him you know a lot of people make that misconception like oh he's a baseball guy he could just throw all arm you know that's where he gets his power from it's not at all not at all true i don't think he gets enough credit for his mechanics right like obviously his mechanics aren't as tight as Breeze or Brady or Rogers, right? But I still think he's got a very powerful motion. His release is still quick. Now, when he takes this hitch, you could see he's hitching at the target. And when he hitches, he's getting his left hip, left knee, and left shoulder at the target. That's how we get this ball to go in front of him. I see a lot of quarterbacks that'll have this, and the angle will be behind the target. Then they try to make this throw across my body, and it's a weak throw, right? Or it's not a consistent throw. We want to get everything in line with the target. Now, again, pushing off the inside arch of this back foot. As you can see, what does it do? His shoulders go back, and he's getting to that L, right? So pushing off the inside, slight bend in the front leg when he strikes, and his shoulders going back. So now why does he shoot high on this? Now you see his front leg hyperextend here. Look at that front leg hyperextend, right? And when that leg extends, what happens is my butt pops up. And then what happens is everything, there's like this coil up in the throw, and that's what makes this ball take off on a high angle. If he was able to keep that front leg, have a slight bend, and you're going to see it in the next clip what I'm talking about, he's able to keep this with a slight bend in that front leg, that ball's able to just rotate straight out and come straight to the target rather than popping up and shooting the path of this ball up, right? So every time we throw, guys, when I say toes in the ground, I want that front foot firmly in the ground, slight bend to that knee 
see, but let's keep that bend so when my hips decide to come through, I'm not popping straight up, okay? And then you see the ball, how it finishes, just a little high. I would obviously like to get that thing down, but that's why. It's in that front leg. If we're pushing and it extends, my butt's going to pop up, then the throw's going to sail, okay? So make sure we stay low, and if he could just keep this position and rotate everything straight around, the ball finishes right on his chest, right? All it is is we're just picking a spot with my follow-through flicking my wrist, okay? So we just got to make sure we don't hyperextend on that front leg. And that's a problem a lot of quarterbacks have. If you're sitting here thinking right now, oh, my front leg extends, like, you know, I'm doomed. It's That's not at all the case. Like, it's just it's a common problem that I see. And the main way to fix it is by focusing on having a slight bend in that front knee, but a powerful position when we rotate through and keeping that same level with your lower half, if that makes sense, keeping that same bend and keeping your butt at the same level let's watch this again full speed so again you could kind of see it just a little bit of a hyper extend and pops a little high okay so now he's going to be throwing a deep ball here now we're going to talk a lot about deep ball mechanics what quarterbacks need to do when they're throwing a deep ball and how seven on seven really kills and one-on-ones and all that crap that you see at these camps just because they don't want to coach these kids and they just want to see how many times they can run them through a drill how that doesn't apply at the next level okay so let's watch this thing full speed so again quick three quick hitch and it's just effortless it's just effortless you see Mahomes when he's throwing this deep ball that's a touchdown right he's throwing this thing in the end zone and that's effortless for him because because it's his foot speed and his hitch speed okay so when we take a three-step drop quarterbacks and we're just running a straight vert like let's say this man coverage I got a one-on-one matchup on the outside I want to get this thing to my guy right now it's about putting it with air and throwing it to a spot If I put it with air and throw it to a spot, my guy, all he has to worry about is beating the DB, and he's going to go run this thing down. Make the job easy on yourself. Don't wait for this receiver. Look where he's throwing this thing. He's throwing this thing. Receiver ain't even looking for one, but he's throwing this thing down here, not to the pole, but right by that pole, right? He's not waiting for him to get there. Then he's trying to throw this on a rope. And see, Mahomes is one of the guys who has the arm strength to do that, right? He he can make that throw, but... Why? If we don't have to, let's make it easy on ourselves. Let's just put this thing up with air. Now, again, so we're going to talk about the deep ball throw. So when he takes this three-step drop, you see he's not getting a ton of depth. It's just one, two, three, real quick. He's not trying to get to five yards. It's just almost in place. And then his hitch is real quick. Quick hitch, and you see his butt doesn't pop up. His hitch is taking him this way. Then what are his shoulders like? Just like that first clip there at that 45-degree angle. And he gets that front foot down, right? Front foot down, and look at the arm angle he's at. Opposite L, front foot striking the ground. And again, you can see slight bend in the front leg, pushing off the inside arch. And when he rotates through, like I said, he keeps a slight bend to that front leg. And his shoulders is what arcs him up. And you can see his follow-through coming straight up in the air like he's shooting free throws. So shoulder arc, flick my wrist up in like I'm shooting free throws. And that's what's going to get air. And if you have quick feet, a quick hitch, we're going to get this ball up. And we could just pick a spot and let my guy go run it down. All he has to do is worry about is beating the DB because you see a lot of these camps that you see these quarterbacks they're they're throwing one-on-ones take a three-step drop and they take one two three four hitches because they're waiting for their guy to beat the db and nobody coaches that crap because in one there's going to be an offensive line right here and then two you, you don't have the arm strength to do that you just not most quarterbacks are not talented like mahomes or rogers where they could just wait like that and even those guys don't they get it up quick russell wilson's a great example he throws this thing so dang early but with a ton of air and lets his guy go run it down right that's what we we got to do let's watch this thing full speed one more time so quick three quick hitch get it up right now so quick three quick hitch pick a spot just let him run it down air is our best friend quarterbacks all right guys i really want to thank you for watching i really appreciate it guys please leave in the comments any quarterback you'd like to see me break down next i really appreciate it and leave in the comments who you think is going to win the super bowl i'm excited to watch Mahomes play i'm excited to watch garoppolo play and i'll see you guys next time